we're using the Inspire 2 to really push the limits of camera language and storytelling, to really paint a picture of the Great Depression. I've dreamt of, of shooting dialogue scenes with drones. I love the detached, sort of disembodied, fly-on-the-wall nature of, of the image. With the Inspire 2, we try to improve on every single aspect. Flight performance, stability, camera capabilities. The obstacle avoidance based on the vision system now allows you to safely fly through complex environments and avoid trees, buildings, uh, or bushes. The smart features really are enabling. And what they do is they take a lot of the more mathematical, non-creative work that's also very tedious and difficult and give us the time to be creative on our own. You now have the chance to make very complex and difficult shots with actually only one pilot. The pilot can just fly the aircraft and uh, the active track will do all the gimbal work for you. It's not that we're trying to replace or get rid of pilots, we're actually trying to empower pilots by you know, having all of these camera moves available at the touch of a button. Active Track now has different modes, like a profile mode, where you can easily track a subject from one side uh, without changing the angle and the direction of the camera. I think it's becoming a lot more commonplace. The advantage is obvious, um, especially on smaller scale projects where you can't afford cranes and all of the technicians that come along with that. And you can still achieve the same beauty that you can do with the, with the more sort of the bit larger equipment. You know, initially when we first thought about the idea of shooting an entire film on a drone, we thought it would come with certain creative and logistical challenges. What ended up happening was that the usability of the Inspire 2 actually enabled us to get more, to be more creative shoot more shots. To really push the limits of large-scale storytelling, 